Hello YouTube, it's me again, and today I'm finally bringing you my October Reverse Rouge Challenge, or basically my empties with the added flavor of adding up the cost of these products and telling you how much I've used up um, since January of this year. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to go through the things that I don't actually have empties for. Um, now, um, two of these were bubble baths. I used up a Spa Naturals bubble bath. Um, it was vanilla coconut, it was from the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. Um, but as I do not have a bathtub in my house, I went to my parents' house and um, spent a weekend there and used up um, two bubble baths actually. The end of this one, which smelled really good, and a Sonoma Spa bubble bath, which was like ocean scented and came from Walmart, so it was $2.97. Um, there really wasn't a whole lot left in either one of them, so I poured them both in. It smelled wonderful. I had lots of bubbles. It was fun. So I don't have two th those two empties because I used them up at my parents' house and did not have the forethought to bring them back with me. Um, another thing I used up and don't have the empty for is a Hershey's chocolate flavored lip balm. It's because I had depotted it and um, mixed it with a couple of other things. Um, basically mixed it with some Vaseline to make it a little more hydrating, a little more um, um, lip care kind of item because it didn't really have a whole lot of um, hydration on its own. So I don't have the packaging for it, but I did use it up. Okay, so on to the rest of this. Oh, which I might have accidentally thrown away a couple of things. Um, I did use up some Dollar Tree acne wipes. These are like the orange and white striped things that um, you get from Dollar Tree. Um, they were dollar. Um, they had some salicylic acid in it, which was the acne fighting ingredient, um, but it was actually made for sensitive skin, so you didn't feel like the burning or the tingling that some, some salicylic acid things can give you. So they were quite nice. Um, I don't appear to have the toothpaste I used up, um, so I'm I'm sorry. I've tried filming this before, uh, right after I did my um, September reverse rouge, um, and must have accidentally thrown away the wrong things. Um, but it's you know what toothpaste looks like, and this is the natural white extreme sensitive toothpaste. I've used them up before on this channel, so if you've been uh, following my reverse rouge challenge. You've seen this empty toothpaste. It comes from Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. Um, I do have the rest of the empties, though. I'm sorry about that. Which is a bunch of hotel shampoos and conditioners. Um, I've got three shampoos and two conditioners. Um, the last time my mom and I went somewhere, she shoved them all in my bag because that's what she does. Um, so um, I've just basically assigned a dollar to each of these because they are essentially set tra travel sized items. So there you go. Five dollars for the travel sized shampoo, hotel shampoo and conditioners. Um, I also used up a foaming facial scrub. This is a Dollar Tree product from Green Bar Iron. It has a slightly citrusy scent, even though it doesn't say so on here, and I'm not entirely sure what ingredient does it. Um, but this goes extremely fast, mostly because of the um, the way it dispenses out of the container. Um, I do like it. Um, it's not a replacement for my anti-blemish cleanser, which I really liked, but now I can't even find this. I can just find the little pump things, which I'll probably have to start using um, once my other foaming scrub has been used. Um, and the last couple of things, if I can find them in here, if I can find out where they've gone, they are just a couple of teeny tiny little things. Oh, here's one. I actually got two of these things, but I don't want to sit here trying to find them and wasting your guys' time and mine. But this is an empty eyeshadow pan. I depotted this one and another one that's in the exact same pan. So just think of this, but two. Into another container with another eyeshadow. 
I think I talked about this on my make updates, so if you've seen that, you kind of know what this is. Um, so I deposited a couple, three like eyeshadows into a container, mixed them all up, and, oh, sorry, excuse me, and that's what I've been using to set my concealer that I've been using for um, my eyeshadow base. So once that's gone, that'll mean this guy is gone. Um, but since it's in a depotted container and I'm not going to be able to show it to you, here I am showing it to you. And the two of these together, there are two, I promise, I put together as a dollar. So, that is what I used up in October. And, surprise, surprise, um, it ended up totaling $13, yep, spooky 13, and 97 cents. Which brought me to a total of $293.36 for the year. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll reach 300, but the next tier in this challenge is at 350, which I don't think I'm gonna hit unless I actually actively start using up some of my higher price makeup. And my higher price makeup is like $10 stuff, um, but it's also um, it'll take me a while to use up some of that $10 stuff because one, it's brand new, or it's a complete eyeshadow palette, <laughs> which is not going to get done in two months. So with that said, um, I'm going to try for $300 and see how much over we get. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.